Hub Channel Ghana in partnership with Bible Society Ghana, Lifestyle Network and Seed Spring Network presents to you the National Bible B. to Hope Channel Ghana. Yes, I'm sure most of you might be hearing Hope Channel Ghana for the first time, but don't worry. Because of the program we are launching today, you'll be seeing more of us and you'll be watching the rest of our program. But today, the reason why you have come to your homes is because we want to launch the first ever Bible quiz competition on TV. Yes, it will be happening in your various schools and in your various churches. And so watch out for us. But today, I'm so excited that we are launching it for the first time. And so without much ado, I want to invite the channel manager of Hope TV Ghana to come and tell us why a national Bible be? Is there the, the need at all, especially within the time that we find ourselves? Do we need a national Bible quiz competition? So I want to invite um, the channel manager, he's in the person of me, IT Hammond, to come and tell all of our viewers and the world over why a national Bible be. I would like to take this opportunity on behalf of Hope Channel Ghana to welcome you all to this all important launch of the National Bible B. The National Bible B is not just a quiz program or a television game show, but the National Bible B is an inspirational idea, a Christian, religious and inspirational brand that educates, develops, informs, entertains and empowers and nurtures us. I, I am very excited about this this program because it is a platform that is going to help us to develop the, 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 the mind, the body, and the soul. I mean, this, this platform, we believe, also goes along with the direction of Hope Channel, which is to bring Christ in every heart in this generation and beyond. And therefore, having the opportunity to partner uh, Seed Spring Network, Lifestyle Network, and the Bible Society to bring about this uh, quiz program is one that brings so much joy and excitement to us as a channel. We believe that this would help build the psyche, the moral fiber of our society. As we start this pilot program um, with the um, second cycle institutions, we believe that it is going to be a nurturing ground where the youth of today will be able to understand the concept of the Bible and how it is supposed to help us develop into better human beings living in harmony with one another and for the betterment of society. It is our hope that this quiz 
would, would bring not only students together, but it would also bring past students together. And we say that even as you support your, your former schools, may you not, may not just be to, to bring laurels to your school or to give you bragging rights, but may it be that we all, as we watch, would learn and understand who God is and what plans he has for us and how he expects us to live as a, as a people. We believe that this is an opportunity for a change in society for the better. We need to develop our morals and there's no, nowhere else to find better morals than in the Bible. Therefore, the National Bible B. As we create this platform, which is supposed to bring young people together, in fact, young and old, everyone together, a family uh, content platform, we believe that God himself would lead us in, in, in developing what he wants us to know as a nation. In this regard, I would like to say a special thank you to Mr. N.P. Bwachi Kweku, Ni uh, Amankratete, Pastor Anthony Melchizedek, Pastor Kofi N.P. Adakwa, Abandoned Life Ministries, who have supported us along the way to ensure that this program becomes a success. We believe that God is working on the psyche and conscience of the nation. And the National Bible B is a platform where this change is going to be expedited. May God be with us all. May God bless us all as we prepare to watch Ghana's most rewarding, Ghana's most educative, real show, the National Bible B. Enjoy. And <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
You know, this program is so big, Hope Channel Ghana is not doing it alone. And so first on my list, we have the Bible Society Ghana. I'm sure you have heard about them. They will be coming to speak to you, I mean, shortly, but they are also, I mean, um, one of the partners. We have the Seed Spring Network and then the Lifestyle Network. They are also on board and we are all coming together to make the National Bible be a reality. So without much ado, I would invite the reps to come and talk to you about how they are excited and why they believe this program is a must for everyone. When it comes to engaging with the Bible, I mean, children uh, or youth, youth and children becomes a very key aspect of our work. Bible Society have been engaged in Bible quiz for so many years. And um, we would always be partnering with the churches to do this Bible quiz. So Hope TV uh, coming on board to partner with the Bible Society for the National Bible Quiz Competition for us is um, a great opportunity and a window of opportunity, a, a big window of opportunity, let me use that word, because uh, from this, we know that with your TV and with Bible Society and with the churches on the, uh, on, on, at the local levels, we are, we are sure that um, the, the advocacy for Bible among young people will increase. One, what I see from this program is that we are going to have a huge interest in biblical literacy and knowledge. Many of our teens and many of our young ones are losing, um, uh, I mean, they are losing out on the Bible. I mean, today with the era of technology, people are not reading the Bible as it before. And so we believe that uh, raising this Bible quiz program would increase a certain interest of biblical literacy and knowledge among our young people. Again, also, I see it as, as a good opportunity for us to see many young people beginning to appreciate very certain godly values and principles. I mean, sometimes, um, People are living with certain principles and they think it is normal because that is what they see around them. And so when they are engaged with a Bible quiz program, which will make them to get into the scripture, to learn and to study, we believe that as they begin to study, they will begin to own some of the issues and some of the principles in the scripture. And then they will begin to and then there will be a challenge to their local narratives and their local um, um, status or, 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 or perceptions of things. It will be they will challenge it. And then when it, the Word of God challenges it, we are sure that we will begin to have a, a, a certain group of young people or, or, or teens who will be walking on the path of godliness and a certain path of a transformed society. Yes, the Bible B project is very, very important, especially with the senior high schools. Uh, recently, we've been hearing about this uh, uproar in the senior high schools. I believe if we introduce the Bible B project in the senior high school, uh, this is going to engage them more with the Bible. How do we do that? They begin to find answers in the scriptures. This will also open their eyes to, to the scriptures to see the, uh, the right things to be done and then to do away with bad behaviors. Um, this, I think, should be really, really uh, accepted in the senior high schools. Also, we've realized that there are other um, engagements from, excuse me to say, the secular world where these senior high schools, um, young ones, get so much engaged with. So if we also introduce the Bible B, where the Bible will speak to them, I think this is also a good thing to introduce to the senior high schools. The Bible Society of Ghana supports Bible B in so many ways. First of all, we assist in setting the Bible quiz questions that will be used in the quiz. We as well give Bibles as gifts to be given to all participants who participate in 
in the Bible quiz. We believe our support will go a long way to help these young ones to become better in future. Yes, friends, welcome from the break. I hope you enjoyed the song. I love this song so much, Kaime. It, 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 it's a song that I always listen to when I'm in need, when I want God to come to my aid. And I hope you'd also, I mean, enjoy it and you have taken something from it. So I want to take you through how this competition is like. Yes, it's the first time, it's, it's the maiden edition of the National Bible B. What goes into it? So there are four rounds, okay, within this particular competition. And the first round is what, what you call the blind zone. And the reason is the blind zone is because this round focuses on Christian religious studies, what we call CRS. Yes, I know those of you in the senior high, high schools, you know it falls under the general arts. Okay, so um, a, a, a person would have to come from there to be able to join. So that's what you call the blind zone because you don't know where the question will come. Ev everywhere it can come from anywhere of the syllable. And then the round two is what you call the mind choice. 
and that place we are looking at the prophetic books you'll be given some books to choose from so you have the liberty to choose from there and then the third round is what we call the basset or the fastest finger fist where you receive riddles okay so you'll be re receiving some i mean riddles and this one is a general bible i mean um, um, knowledge it tells you that everyone at all whether you are a science student general art student business student home economics visual arts everyone at all can be a part of this competition i think that this is interesting right good and then the last round is where you solve the puzzle okay you'll be given a crossword chart and all of those things. so these are very interesting um, competition and i hope everyone would be interested to to join now what you need to know is that you need to be eligible what do i mean by that you need to be a Ghanaian or a foreign resident i mean legally staying in ghana attending that school okay so you can represent your school and you also have to be a representative from that school as in you should be a member of that institution to be able to represent your school and you have to be of sound mind bright obviously and then of good or of good character so this is what the competition is all about um, i hope you are beginning to appreciate what this competition is about so without what much I do, I want to introduce to you the various schools that are going through the maiden edition, the pilot. We have five schools who have decided to be part of this program to introduce the National Bible Bee to you. And these five schools are Ebenezer Senior High School in Dansoman. We have Osu Presby Senior High School. We have Laboni Senior High School. We have Holy... Trinity Cathedral Senior High School and then Accra Girls Senior High School. These five schools have come together to be part of the maiden edition of the National Bible Bee. I know wherever you are, you are giving them a round of applause for deciding to be a part of it. And I pray that may the best school win. We develop the moral characterization or the moral character of the students. We mold them to become globally competitive. I will entreat all students to get involved in this maiden national Bible quiz that is really coming on. It is really going to develop them, both religiously and academically. Ebenezer Senior High School is well versed and is already encouraged to win the, um, the oncoming quiz competition that is really coming on. We have really prepared and we are expecting to win the trophy and bring back home joy to our students. We chaplains are more interested in the spirituality of the students. We are very excited about the National Bible Quiz competition and we give the opportunity to partake in the median edition. So we have been psyching the children up. So we believe this Bible Quiz is a great opportunity to help the students to develop good moral characters to be conversant with basic theology and learn from great characters from the Bible so that it will be a guide in their lives, you know, after school and beyond. So that's some, this is basically what we are so excited about. This is the main reason we are so enthused about this quiz. We believe and hope that uh, with the correct preparation and by the grace of God, our students will excel in this maiden edition of the National Bible Peace. And we hope and pray that the students will be impacted even after school and beyond school. Hello, I'm Marina de Betiego, and with me here are my friends, Matilda, Manuela, and from my far left is Dorinda, Mary, Millicent, and Sambo. And together we are team Ebenezer School. Fagwa. We are the team representing Ebenezer Senior High School in the National Bible Quiz and this is a great opportunity for us to learn and even if we do not win it's not a big deal because it's been a learning opportunity for us to learn and to interact with other students from other schools and as our students approach we get to learn different things and i believe with god on our side we're going to win because with christ in our verse we smile at the stone and together we are team ebenesco Accra Girls, to me, is one of the best female secondary schools in the region. Currently, the school is taking part in the 
National Bible Quiz, the first of its kind, and we are privileged to be part of it. And we are hoping to win because the team is working so hard. And like our motto always says, aim high. And so we are aiming high. The sky is always our limit. The coming in of this very national uh, competition is going to help us so much, even to boost their morale during the external examination, where we will have the best grade as far as this 2021 is also concerned. But as a chaplain, I do help them a lot. After classes, we meet to discuss issue on all the aspects given unto us for this very competition. We are determined to win this very race. And with God, we know all things are possible. Agis, Noya, Agis, ladies and virtual and virtue. Agis, we are ladies and virtual and virtue. I care. Elton, man. This is Accra Girls Senior High School. Ladies with virtual and virtue. Winning is our hallmark, and we are here for the National Bible B. We are here to set, set the stage on fire. Watch out for us. A cry girls, we aim high. Watch out for our cry girls. The National Bible Bee is a very good initiative, and I welcomed it the very first day I read the document that was submitted to me. It will help our children to study the Word of God and also help them academically as they always. I read the word of God and so I wish to commend all those behind this competition and wish all schools participating the best of luck but hey they should wait for us. We are glad to be part of the maiden edition of the National uh, Bible competition termed Bible B. We are a force to reckon with and evidently here we have so many trophies bearing witness to our participation in various activities of which we have taken a lot of trophies. As the name of our school suggests, Presbyterian Senior High School, so it's a mission school and we are very much interested in the spirituality of our students. We are all poised for the National Bible Quiz program and we are so much prepared in all the areas that has, been, that has been given to us. We chose the book of Daniel um, and then also we, we have prepared so much for the general Bible knowledge and then areas from CRS. It wasn't an easy training but we are still going through it for the upcoming competition and we hope that all of you out there will support us with prayers. And these are my colleagues who are going to participate in the National Bible Quiz. We are very much prepared, as you all can see over here. And then we are ready to take the trophy and bring it to our school. The love of God that we have instilled into the students, we want them to join the National Bible B competition so that they will do well and bring the trophy home. They are built background. We know that they can join the competition and win the trophy for the school. And as a chaplaincy board, we have put programs and activities in place that enhance the spiritual growth of the students in the school. And this year, we are very grateful that Laboni has been selected to be part of the national quiz competition. And more so, I believe so much, Great Labor School will merge as the winner. Lagbe. 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 Hello, my name is Elikeb Afi Agi, and this is the team representing Laboni Senior High School, the Great Labor School, at this year's maiden the National Bible B competition. I believe this is an opportunity for us to be able to learn new things and experience the Bible in a brand new way. I believe we are adequately prepared to win this competition. I would urge you all to support us. What what Indeed, the mission of the school to develop their talents spiritually and morally 
in an environment and prepare them to serve God and mankind. And in fact, that is in tune with the, the, Bible, the Bible B that is being organized by the Bible Society of Ghana, which we know. Um, with the, the training that our students have been given, they will be able to stand any other competitor. And trust us, when we talk about competitions like this, we've had track records. We have a number of um, plats here to show that indeed, when we take part, we win. We don't take part and lose. I can say that most of our students are spiritually inclined in the sense that this school is a mission school. We don't joke with our religious activities at all. So I think this particular program is going to help us a lot. We do a lot with the Bible. So this program coming in will go a long way, I mean, to entice our students to learn the Bible and learn it very well. My name is Keshit Eya Hanyo, and this is Team Hotcast to the Bible B to bring the cup to our school for the first time and watch out for hot stars. Hot stars! It's so good, 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 good. Hot stars! It's so good, 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 good. The cup is for us, so watch out. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Friends, so I hope you enjoyed and you were happy seeing your school. For those of you who have not seen your school yet, I know in the near future you see them. But we still pray that may the best school win. Now, this is the moment we have all been waiting for. We are about to launch National Bible B. So I invite you to stay glued to your sets even as you watch. Why did Adam call Eve woman? She was taken out of his room. Because she was taken out of the man. I'm sure th th this fell on the right stone because you are all women. Prisak Osu, your major question. What is the significance of the voice that was heard at the baptism of Jesus Christ? To show the divine sonship of Jesus Christ. To show the divine, divine sonship of, of Jesus Christ. Are you a child of God? Yes. Then your answer is the correct one. <laughs> this is also a who am I riddle. Who am I? I was a shepherd. I lived in the days of Isaiah and Jeroboam. Amos. Amos is the man! <laughs> what did you have for breakfast this morning? <laughs> Alright, Amos is the man. And then because you got it by the second clue, you get four handsome marks. Oh, give them a round of applause. Good. Amos. But then the rest of the clue reads something like this. The word of the Lord came to me two years before an earthquake. So it is Amos. What did Daniel say? The fourth empire will be as strong as... Iron. Iron is the thing. Iron is the thing. Iron is the thing. This is what we call the puzzle. The puzzle. And it is based on general Bible knowledge. Now, they have been given specific areas. In the Old Testament, they are focusing on the Torah. In the New Testament, they are focusing on the Gospel. Now, there are some words that have been scattered on a chart. They are supposed to figure out those names and cross them out for us. On each crossword chart are 15 names hidden therein that they are supposed to discover for us. For every word they discover, they get for themselves three points. Please give them a round of applause.
Well friends, all too soon we have to come to the end of the lunch. By the end of the lunch is the beginning of the program. And so I thank all our partners, Bible Society Ghana, Seed Spring Network and then Lifestyle Network for deciding to help us and to bring this program onto your screen. Yes, you are asking. I am excited about it. So when do I get to watch and where do I get to watch? Yes, you can have it on your decoder, any satellite decoder. you find Hope TV there. But if you are the online person too, you can find it on YouTube and then on Facebook. On Facebook, we are Hope TV Ghana. On YouTube, we are Hope Channel Ghana. You can also download the app on the Play Store or on the App Store. At this moment, I would want to sign out by inviting the manifest to come and then go with us. In fact, the title of the song is Go, and so we are going with them. Relax in your seats and enjoy. The disciples went to Galilee, met the Christ and worshipped him. With a power in heaven, then Jesus said, Go into the world and teach them to observe all my commands. I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Go teach them and teach them and preach, when they believe. Them go in the name go, of the Father go, and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Go teach to a nation when they believe. Them go in the name go, of the Father go, and the Son. Nations when they believe, the believe, the go, 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 and the Holy Ghost. We have heard the words of Jesus, we have given him our lives. We have found a life fulfilling in his arms. With the power in heaven and earth, now Jesus sends us to the world. To him with the dying souls, Lord, he is with us to the end. Go, teach them, and teach them, and preach, when they believe, baptize them, baptize them in, the in the name of the Father, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Go, to a nation when they believe baptize, baptize them, them in the name of the, of the Father, the Father and, the Son, and the Holy Ghost go teach them and teach them and preach, when they believe baptize, baptize them, them in the name of the Father, the Father and, the Son, and the Holy Ghost go teach to a nation and preach, when they believe baptize, baptize them, them in, the name in the name of, of the Father, the Father and, the Son, and the Holy Ghost and preach, when the feeling baptize them, baptize them in the name, the name of the Father, the Father and, the and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Go teach them, and preach, baptize them, them in the name, the name of the Father, the Father, the Father, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Hit it, hit it, bro, hit it. Come on. And the holy go. Join us same time next week on our maiden edition. But then on my left, we have Holy Trinity Cathedral SHS. <laughs> and then to my right, we have Accra Girls Senior High School. <laughs> Your major question. The two dreams which Joseph narrated to his parents and brothers indicated that he ruled over them. 
he will rule over them is a correct answer. <laughs> Blessed are the poor in spirit for this is the kingdom of this is the kingdom of heaven. I cry girls, blessed are those that mourn for they shall be comforted. Indeed, they shall be comforted. <laughs> I am an ancient engineering masterpiece. That was the first time anything like that was built. Okay, so ancient engineering masterpiece. I have an oval-like shape, an arc looks oval so this dissociates is from the ark of the covenant that one was rectangular you understand so this is an oval shape and then he says i became complete after over a century of work and several announcements remember noah preached for over 120 years but he only had a few people join in his close knitted family Okay, then I was meant for all, yet I could only house a few. At the end of the day, only a few people entered into the ark. They will be given a crossword chat. Now, there are 15 names in that chat that they are supposed to find for us. And because I am merciful, <coughs> we said that blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. So I'll give you a clue as to what you're supposed to find out. It has to do with the family of Jacob. Okay, the family of Jacob. So that is what you are going to find for us. But you'll be given 120 whole seconds, enough time to be able to find those names for us. So the moment you hear the bell, you stop. But I am still merciful enough. For instance, if you were, I mean, circling a word, and we know that you started circling the, the word, I mean, I will know how to work it out. I mean, the team will sort you out. So this has been the National Bible B competition between Accra Girls Senior High School and then Holy Trinity Cathedral Senior High School. It has been a wonderful time that you spent with us. I'm sure you have also learned something. Always keep reading your Bible because God has so much for us. And the Bible, the all-time bestseller. Some call it Life's Manual. Others, the Word of God. Many had to die for it in order that others might live through it and be transformed by it. But how well do you know the Bible? Hope Channel Ghana, in partnership with Bible Society Ghana, Lifestyle Network, and Seed Spring Network, presents to you the National Bible B. What was created on the sixth day according to the creation account? Man and animals. Man and animals was created on the sixth day. Get ready to study as you watch the National Bible B. I was very happy when they said there was a Bible B. Because all over the years there had been mass signs and other things. But I was very happy when someone could stand for the Lord just to give a competition.